I have a basketball jersey. Well, it's going to be an all-star weekend. That's right. I got to represent. Eric, I'm a huge fan of yours, man. You, you've been in this business. This is one of the best voice actors in the business right here. This guy? James Arnold Taylor you're talking about? I'm just here to, I'm, I'm here for the tour. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea this premiere was happening today. They didn't invite me. I just kind of uh, meandered off the street. <laughs> no, thank you for saying that, man. I appreciate it. Now, um, talk a bit about your character in this installment. Uh, well, I play three characters. Uh, one of them is the Adam, and he's kind of like a new recruit to the Justice League. Uh, the second one was the uh, is the eternal damsel in distress, Jimmy Olsen, uh, and Badge. He's uh, one of the uh, Green Lantern Corps. Uh, he's he's the he's the squirrel, uh, squirrely tough guy uh, in it. But yeah, those are the three that I play. I gotta ask for Jimmy Olsen. Um, is he bumbling in this one? Because you know, there's always that version. Yeah, he's definitely preteen. He's he, I, without giving too much away. He's, he's he's pretty much confined to where he is, so he's not. He doesn't get like a lot of action in this, but um, he he's definitely uh, a cry. He, he's a cry. He's a cry for help, and he's, he's <laughs> oh gosh, help! Oh man! Yeah, yeah. Now, and the Adam does he get to be Ray, pa Ray Palmer or just the Adam here? He's just the Adam in costume, full full time. Yeah, we don't get to see him out of the suit, but uh, he, we definitely get to see him in action. And I'm very excited because um, the last time I was here uh, uh, for uh, DC Gotham City Breakout, I played a uh, uh, Lego Commissioner Gordon and um, uh, Bane. So he was like one of the main bad guys. This time I get to be a good guy, uh, which is is rare for me. I always play bad guys. I'm Canadian. We're we're never bad. Like. Maybe no, it's, it's like it's like therapy for us. We get to be bad guys in cartoon. <laughs> hey? <laughs> oh yeah, so that's how the Adam sounds, eh? Yeah. So like you're saying I could shrink down and then like get really big. Whoa. Yeah, no, he doesn't sound like that. Yeah. Now um you guys are so mean, you you fired a flash? Why did you fire the flash? <laughs> well, in, in this in this story, he kind of has like, you know, a little hiccup Aww. that we perceive as him being like, you know, missing his mark and all that stuff, but he's actually in trouble. Uh, and the uh, the main bad guys, you can see, you are, you are in trouble. And there he goes. That's just how fast he he's is. Running. He's here. Wait a I'm minute. I'm going to get in every one he's of your here. interviews. Yeah. No, this, this is your moment, man. It's his time to shine. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, he, he has a little uh, someone nipping at his tail here, and that's reverse flash. Um, and it's oh, no problem. And, uh, and it's, uh, it's bad news for him, but we'll see how he gets out of this one. There's a, actually a big musical number uh, with uh, Kate Micucci and Kevin Michael Richardson. In the, and that's the other thing. Where else can you get a musical number in a superhero movie but right here? So you like musical numbers, toys, and superheroes? You've come to the right place. And Canadians, right here. So you gotta, gotta represent <laughs> NBA All Star Weekend, yeah. Lowry, yeah. Raptors. I don't know if you're willing to share. I know what it's like to have gotten fired. I mean, how'd you handle? If you have you ever been fired before? In voiceover, we often get sometimes replaced by our peers, or uh, maybe there's like a, 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 a celebrity that they may have in mind for the character, uh, and you know that's just part of the job. And uh, you will not find another profession where people are more generous, where if I don't get a job, I can honestly tell the director, there are three guys that I know that can do this job. And I recommend, you know, Will Friedle, John DiMaggio, James Arnold Taylor, Phil Lamar, like any one of these guys, like these are legends I'm talking. I grew up watching half of the people I work with. So, uh, but I mean, yeah, you'll never find another job where someone, people are more generous, guys and girls. I love the Lego DC movies because yeah. they're family friendly yeah. and you emphasize on the funny. Yeah. How do you guys make sure that the jokes land? Um, part of it is that we're really trying to make Brandon Vietti laugh. <laughs> like if he laughs, then we know it's got to be funny. Okay. Uh, Jim and I are just naturally silly. Um, I have two little kids and sometimes I will uh, ask them if something's funny to see if they'll react. But really it's just tapping into that like inner adolescence and just being as stupid and silly as you can and then seeing what everybody else laughs about. And, uh, you know, oftentimes through the process, because it's so collaborative, we'll write something funny and then the storyboard guys will add something to it and you're like, that's even funnier. Like, that's funnier than I could have ever done it. And so that's been one of the big thrills about working on in animation and working on these projects. People, uh, everybody that contributes really does contribute. So it's this incredible team effort, you know. Now, the Flash gets fired here. Yeah, now, <laughs> Wait a second. Well, I'm sorry. No. He doesn't know yet. He doesn't know. Look, the Flash is here now. I know, right? I'll be okay. Yeah, you will be. There's a severance package. 
Justice League Severance Package is amazing. Uh, yeah, the Flash gets fired, but it's all integral to the plot. And uh, you see how he gets fired, which is really funny, and, and what he does. He does. You know, it's a great thing. And and let's not, like, forget that Dwight Schultz, you know, who played Mad Dog Murdoch in the A-Team, which I was a nut for, right? Is When they told me that, I was like, wait, what? What? Reverse Flash is going to be played by Mad Dog? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, awesome. and he does such an incredible job. Yeah. And everybody does great. And I can't wait for people to see the uh, tour de force performance of Dr. Fate in this movie, which is amazing. And uh, Kate Micucci as uh, uh, Zatanna. It's just, there's some really funny things. Uh, I can't wait. You know, Eric Bowser as, as Adam. It's just, it's really peculiar and very cool to watch. I love it. I yeah. Love it. Can I ask... Um, because the flash gets fired, yeah. can you share if you if you are willing to share? Because yeah. uh, I, I know how it feels to get to have gotten fired. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> how did you handle? I mean, have you had, have you been fired before? Uh, yeah. yeah, one time I got fired for being too nice. If you can believe oh. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the, and my and the boss at the time was just like, "You're always coming in here with your smiling, and you're always like happy." And he's like, "You know," and it was like. They ended up moving me away to another like section of the office, and it was, and then it was just like, yeah, you don't need to come in anymore. I was like, oh, geez, but it was literally because I was too nice. It was very, very <laughs> peculiar. But I felt that way, and and you know, we draw on all our personal experiences to put into the characters, and that feeling of rejection, even even what's what's crazy is even if it's a job you don't like. You know, you're like, I got fired from this job I don't like, and you feel horrible. Exactly. But like with the Flash, it's the job that he loves. You know, and uh, but it all, you know, you'll have to watch the movie. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> so talk a bit about before you enjoy the uh, the, the day, uh, the theme. What do you what do you want the kids to take away from this story? You know, I think I think the theme of the story is that uh, it's not. And I think a lot of these movies is it's not really about the powers that makes you a hero. You know, it's what's inside. It's your character that counts that makes you a hero. And once you step up into being a man or a woman of character and like just be that person of integrity that you're there for your teammates, you're there for the people around you, you're there for the community around you, then you're a hero. You know, and it doesn't matter if you can run fast or not run fast. It's really about, they, you know, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman give the Flash some life lessons to try to, like, help him out of his adolescence. And they're like, hey, this is how you can be a better part of the team. And he doesn't get it at first. And so he has to go through some experiences and remember those wise words in order to kind of, like, internalize it and then become the hero he's supposed to be. 